If you're working with React, you probably noticed that the React documentation has got a major update. And as part of this major update, there's no more mention of Create React App. Does it mean that Create React App is no longer a good way to build React applications? As the documentation will advise you to use a framework such as Next.js or Remix. But what if you don't want to build using a framework, but want to use a lighter weight library instead? If that's you, you can use a library called Feed. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to use Feed to build a front-end React application. If you look at the website from Feed, you can see they actually call themselves a library for the next generation front-end tooling, which it actually is because Great React App was great at what it does, but it hasn't, hasn't been properly maintained for a while. But so with Feed, you can get all sorts of features. And most of all, they will help you to optimize for the size of your build and also the speed at which you can build your applications in development mode. React App has been lacking for a longer time. It worked fine, but it was really hard to optimize it and make it actually suitable for a production grade React application. So let's head over to a terminal and start our first feed application. From a terminal, you would have to use the command npx create feed, and then we're going to be using the latest version of feed. So once I run this command, it will ask me a couple of questions. So how would I like to name my feed project? Well, feed project sounds good to me. And from here, you can actually see what makes feed different from other sort of libraries to build front-end apps. Because feed works with vanilla JavaScript, Vue, React, Free React, Lit, Svelte, and even others. I'm not going to go in detail what others might mean. Uh, for today, we'll be building a React application. And then there are multiple things you can do. You can decide to go TypeScript first or stick with JavaScript. And you can also decide to add uh, SWC, which we won't be doing. We just go for TypeScript. And if you're building applications with Next.js or uh, Remix, you might be familiar with templates. Beat also has templates. So if you'd like to build a project using a template, you can find all sorts of templates on their website. For today, we just get started with a bare bones uh, feed project that is supporting TypeScript by default. So I'm going to be going inside my newly created directory called feed project. And from there, we'll be opening a new screen in VS Code. After using npm to create a new feed project, we can go to VS Code and in there we can find a directory of files. As you can see, it looks pretty familiar to what we had in Create React App. There's a public directory, there is a source directory that contains uh, some components, and then there is all the configuration, such as your package.json and our tsconfig.json as we're building with TypeScript. So first, before I start, I need to run npm install. And as you can see, it runs pretty fast, as it looks like I already run it one time before. Uh, but it's okay if you're running npm install for the first time, it might take a bit longer. So all the configuration for Vite can actually be found in the file vite.config.ts. So whereas Create React App was mostly built on Webpack, in here you can put in all your plugins uh, for Vite. And if you would go to the website, you can find out more on what sorts of configuration you can put in this file. To run our application, we need to use the command npm run dev. So this will start a locally running development server of our broader paid application. And I can just open this in a browser, and then I should be able to see my very first feed application. If you look at what's happening here, it's again pretty familiar to what we had with Create React App. It just shows you a small loading screen. There is the cool rotating React logo, and there is also some state in here. So we have a counter. And probably if we refresh the screen, the counter has been reset. A building React application with feed is very similar to what you've done with Create React App. From VS Code, for example, you can create new components, create styling using CSS. And if you want to use something else for styling, uh, maybe even Tailwind or some other cool styling libraries that are out there today, you can just install them using npm. You might have to include some new configuration in the vite.config.ts. Most of the times you actually don't have to do have to do this as feed itself, it's pretty compliant with most libraries out there. If you're new to React, I would definitely recommend you to have a look at feed. As mentioned, the React core team advises you to no longer use create React app. Instead, they want you to go with something else and Vite is one of those other recommendations they have. In the future, I'll probably create more videos around feed. So use the comments to let me know what you'd like to know about feed and I will address it in the next video. And as always, 
If you enjoyed this video, press the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel.